talk. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to fix a, I think it's called a system registry file error message or a corrupt system registry file message. I'm not sure, I forgot exactly what it's called. Um, like whenever you uh, turn off the uh, computer uh, too many times without shutting it down and you do it too many times and, and, and all of a sudden you turn it on and, and the computer does not load up all the way and you get like this message on the screen, you know, I think it says something about a corrupt uh, file, a corrupt registry file error message, or, and it says to uh, insert a, um, the uh, Windows installation disk, um, and that's you know, pretty much what you do. Well, uh, some people uh, you know, might not know what else to do once they've inserted the disk, or how to even get the disk. I've encountered that problem, I think about six months ago. Um, you know, my laptop was uh, doing that. And, because uh, I, I used to kind of get in a hurry to shut down the laptop, and used to kind of turn it off, turn it back on, I mean, and, and then that happened to me. And the software, the, the Windows installation software that came with it was missing. I don't know what happened to it. So I had to give me a new one. Um, now some people, at that point, I'm sure, when they, when they got that kind of message, they probably thought, oh no, my computer's bad. I need to get a new one. Um, well, this information is going to save you a, a money. Instead of getting a new computer, which will probably cost a couple hundred dollars, depending on exactly what you want. You can just fix the one you have. You can uh, get a Windows installation disk. You can either order it online, or go to a, a computer place in town um, and uh, get a disk and get one. Now you have to know the exact Windows your uh, computer is. Or the exact, you know, uh, operating system, in, ca in case you use uh, um, a Mac. Um, yeah, anyways, you have to know that. And I found that it's cheaper to go to the, uh, the computer place in town, you know, that a place in town that works on computers. They can also give you, you uh, software. Um, anyways. Yeah, that's uh, that's it for this video. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Um, I almost forgot to tell you exactly. Anyways, once you insert the disk, um, you want to like um, like hit I think F one or something, or, you know, or F twelve, as it's loading up, and then you see like another option boot from disk and, and you'd want to uh, do that you'd, you'd want to boot from the di from disk and uh, you know, uh, once you have your uh, system register I mean once you have your windows installation disk you boot from disk um, and in order to avoid that problem altogether you will properly shut down your computer um, in fact, I just learned this about six months ago, and the hard way, and and I looked it up what costs what can cost stuff like that. So I uh, kind of found out the hard way. And anyways, now I'm done. Bye.